Look at how brave he is! Ah! Oh, he's a hero! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Infested Planet, an RTS about marines wiping out an alien civilization, which has been seen before, but not quite like this, so we'll jump into it. The first thing you'll probably notice is that the map is fairly large, a lot of the missions are randomized, which offers a lot more replayability, it's kinda nice. Mission one. We didn't get completely wiped off the map, but we also didn't completely wipe them off the map. Wow. There are a lot of statistics to look at after the match. One of my favorite is commands issued under the miscellaneous tab. Uh, you can also see what you've killed and what you've lost and uh, the economy, what you've spent, what you recycled, yada yada. I recycled a lot because turrets. Then you get some money, based on how well you did, uh, sometimes it's a flat rate for completion, and we're gonna get to shop for different upgrades. Doctor, Captain, I finally, fl I finally flushed out the source of the transmissions. It's some sort of new alien superhive. I've decided the best chance of ending this war early is to hit that critter hard and fast. That's where you come in. Get your weapons ready. I just feel that this is gonna be so ugly. All right, we'll get a couple shotgun guys, and uh, I'm gonna take my shotgun dudes and the scout. Yeah, that's good. We'll go fucking blow this shit up. Wreck 'em, wreck 'em, wreck 'em. Spawn spitter towers. Holy shit! Wreck that thing. What the fuck is that? Merk 'em, merk 'em, merk 'em. So now we're gonna capture a forward base, which would be nice. I'll probably have to leave this guy over here to hold that shit down. Hmm. Oh, they got some spitter pods. Brute spawn. Oh, God. Please don't spawn brutes. Please. Santa got a supportable flamethrower. Run over the crates. Let's try it out. I'll take this rifleman here. This is your patrol point. Nobody will pass this red line. <laughs> All right. So we got a flamer and some shotgun dudes. We will be able to fucking wreck this thing without a doubt. And hit it. Got to wreck this shit. Grab some more crates, bring them up. Oh, look, these are the brutes. And they're fucking they're coming. They're coming, all right. All right, we gotta race these guys back up. All right, let's see how strong these fucking things are. Whoa! They're not strong, but they do create like a bulwark after they die to protect their comrades. That's fucked up. At least they don't spawn as fast as the little fellas. I really like the effects in this game. They look super nice. The hive is spouting blood everywhere, there's fire, that looks uh, pretty realistic. And while the animation on the chopper and stuff isn't great, you can tell like the effects had a lot of love. I don't know how this one is spawning so much. Alright. Got a good little group of guys down here. We will advance. Get some more ammo crates. Fucking seal this thing up. This thing isn't vulnerable until we destroy all the hives, it seems. But that's okay. This guy wants a shotgun. He wants one, but he can't have one yet. Turn in those crates. Boosh. Shotgun. Spawn another marine in. There we go. Now I'm gonna try and advance on this shit. Pinch it off. We'll see how it goes. Flames, flames, flames! Dude, please watch out, flamethrower guy. I like you so much. Oh my god! 
Look at how brave he is! Ah! Oh, he's a hero! <laughs> Dude, I love the flamethrower. Like, hey, what you got here? Some shit? Fuck it! Fuck your shit! I get helicopters, grenades. We're gonna fucking do this shit right. That's nice. That's real nice. Seems our shit's held down pretty well. Unless these guys start going for the bottom one. But, uh, I plan to pinch that off long before it starts actually happening. Destroy that fucking thing. Chopper strike, chopper strike. Yeah, they are gonna go for the bottom ones. They see my weakness. Well, I shall expose yours. Mm-hmm. Bring the crates back. Bring the crates back. I need to heal up. Oh, shit. I need a regiment. Go destroy these fucks. Rifle guy, today's your lucky day. You shall shortly become... Shotgun man! Okay. So now it can advance up through there. Fuck. They're bringing it around the other way. Break them off something. Break them off something. Break them, break them, break them, break them off something. We're, di we're doing it. Look, flamethrower guy's there. He's gonna fuck this shit up. Get the grenade on. Shoosh, shoosh, shoosh. That's right, son. It's too late for you, kid. And captured. The big hive is vulnerable. Concentrated fire should take it down. Well, I've got turrets, don't I? Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. 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 Shit! Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! So everybody's got a shotgun. Let's fucking do this thing. Do it now. As long as we keep our base up here relatively safe, we should be okay. But oh my god, they're fucking everywhere. 20%. Couple dead marines. You fucking get over there. We're doing this now. More shotguns. More helicopters. More death to the hive. 15%. Come on! Oh, we're getting our fucking... They're in our home base! It's fine. After we take this fucking thing out. Oh, man. Are, are you dead now? Oh. Yes! War is intellect! An alien mass of flesh is no, is no match for this army. Thank God. And 20,000, that's that's pretty good. We'll go for a little shopping here. And, uh, let's see. Grenades sound pretty good to me. All Marines to throw free cur percussion grenades. Yes, please. We're getting stronger. So, friends, this has been Infested Planet. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Big thanks to Rocket Bear Games for the review copy, and here is my score breakdown. The controls I've given an 8 out of 10. They are extremely solid, the interface is really fluid, however, I keep wanting to WASD to the edge of the screen, uh, and it forces you to use your mouse cursor, which is not the best, not the most fluid, not the most intuitive, so I have knocked a couple points off for that. The fun factor I've given a 10 out of 10 it is an extremely fun game and at very very few points um, am I able to pull myself away <laughs> the difficulty is an 8 out of 10 you will probably succeed in most missions that you face if you uh, you know have any tactical knowledge <laughs> but uh, 
succeeding in the mission does take a while. The replayability, I've given a 10 out of 10. With the tech trees and all the unlocks, you will be replaying the missions in order to max out your funds to buy the best stuff to support your marines. Uh, definitely a really replayable game. The innovation, I have given an 8 out of 10. Uh, we've seen, you know, RTS Space Marines before. However, we've never seen it quite on this scale with uh, all the unlocks and the unique tools that it offers. I really like the different classes. It gives it a really unique and nice feel. The aesthetic section, the uh, graphics, I've given a 7 out of 10. The effects are really, really, really awesome. Blood spray and fire and all that stuff. The marines and aliens and ships, they are passable, definitely. I think they could be a little more high def, but that's that's just personal preference because I either like a retro aesthetic or super high def. Anyway, 7 out of 10. <laughs> the music I've given an 8 out of 10. It is quite otherworldly and it does not drop out in any of the menus or at any point during the battle. It seems to be relatively uh, ambient, but that's a good thing for a game like this where most of it is uh, just you thinking or trying to hold your position. <laughs> Sound effects I've given a 7 out of 10. I rather like the marines calling out to each other and the squeals of the aliens when they die and even the turrets got some, some pretty cool sound that doesn't doesn't get on my nerves too much maybe because there's so much else going on but it all comes together and creates a really really good uh feel for the sound effects so i've given that a 7 out of 10 <clears throat> the story i've given a 3 out of 10 it's not great <laughs> um like i said we've seen it before space marines go kill some aliens there's very little reason given to why level design i've given a 5 out of 10 it's not fantastic, it's not uh, really tactically laid out or meticulous. It is randomly generated, however, which makes it interesting every single time. So, these scores come together to give Infested Planet a grand total of 74 out of 100. A very, very respectable score. I thank Rocket Bear Games once again for the review copy and allowing me to take a look at this beauty of a game. And I do hope that you guys have enjoyed. If you did, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Infested Planet. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you my friends